acceptance of the candidates for academic recognition, the faculty, the administration, alumni, honored guests, and friends of Stony Brook University, the doctoral graduation and hooding ceremony, part of the 54th annual university commencement, is hereby convened. Welcome to Stony Brook. Please rise, if you're not already standing, for the national anthem sung by Johann Yi of Stony Brook's Department of Music. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It's a pleasure to welcome the candidates, their advisors, families, friends, our faculty, and members of the platform party to Stony Brook University's doctoral graduation and hooding ceremony. We begin today with the conferral of the honorary degree. I invite State University of New York Board of Trustee Carrie Stoller President of Stony Brook University, Samuel L. Stanley, Jr., and Provost Dennis Asanis to come forward. Stony Brook University is honored to confer honorary degrees on individuals who have distinguished themselves by their contributions to their field and to the university. Will Dr. David Walt please come forward? Dr. Walt, you have reached great heights since you earned your PhD in chemical biology from Stony Brook University. As a researcher and distinguished professor at Tufts University and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, your pioneering work in the application of microtechnology and nanotechnology has, has helped solve an array of urgent biological problems. You have demonstrated that you are a leader and a scholar. From serving as a scientific founder and director of Illumina Inc. and Quanterix Corporation, to holding numerous patents, publishing hundreds of scientific papers, and earning prestigious accolades throughout your career, you truly are an exceptional Stony Brook alumnus. For your selfless devotion to discovery, service, and teaching, the State University of New York is proud to bestow upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State University Board of Trustees, the faculty of the State University of New York concurring, I confer upon you an honorary degree, honoris causa, and invest upon you 
with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. In token thereof, I direct that you be provided with a diploma and vested with the hood representative of the Doctor of Science. Trustee Stoller, uh, President Stanley, faculty, administrators, parents, and especially the doctoral students today, uh, thank you very much for this uh, great honor. Uh, today, I have uh, two very short messages for you, which I hope to bring together at the end. First, think broadly. PhD training is by design extremely focused and narrow. Later, uh, in this ceremony, perhaps uh, not with, with this group, but all of you will be carrying your uh, thesis title. And uh, in many cases, they're very difficult to pronounce. Uh, I just attended the one at Tufts a few days ago, and the announcer had a really tough time, with, particularly with some of the science theses. But when, when you try to explain what you're doing to your parents, uh, the, the parents and, and uh, many of us will struggle to understand even, even though we're, we could be in the field. Um, but that's not the point of a PhD, but, that, but that's actually the point of a PhD thesis. It's depth, not breadth. You all learned how to identify a specific problem, propose creative solutions to that problem, and assess your solutions, whether in the sciences, engineering, arts, humanities, the process is pretty much the same. Find a thesis topic that zeroes in on some aspect that you can deal with in the time you're here at Stony Brook. But once you leave here, not many people are going to be interested in hearing about your thesis work. In fact, your thesis work was not designed to teach you about the specific topic, but rather it was geared to preparing you for how to approach problems in general. When I was a student here, uh, 35 years ago I graduated, I worked on the total synthesis of a class of molecules called anthracyclinones. These molecules were and still are used today as the first line of chemotherapy for cancer. I spent three years running hundreds, perhaps thousands of chemical reactions and I ended up making enough material to see the product on something called a TLC plate. Basically, I made a microscopic quantity of this material. But the reality is a lowly strain of bacteria does a much better job of making this molecule through fermentation than can any organic chemist. While I was working on my thesis project, I thought it was the most important thing going on in the world. But I lacked perspective because I was protected by the ivory tower of academics. After leaving Stony Brook, I changed from being an organic chemist and became a scientist. I used the tools of organic chemistry that I had learned here to solve problems, and I learned new tools to solve even more important problems that most organic chemists wouldn't even think about. The second message is to think about outcomes rather than about outputs. Most people measure their success by things that are easy to measure. How many papers they've published, how much money they make, how many people work for them, etc. But these measures are just a way of keeping score. What's more important is to think about impact. Are we working on problems? important problems to solve pressing societal issues, technologies that will help cure disease, create new sources of energy. Are we creating sustainable cities or impactful organizations? 
Are we writing stimulating articles or books that challenge the reader to be better? Are we creating art, music, or poetry that touch the senses and make the world a better place to live? So the two messages, think broadly and think about outcomes, are linked. Use the tools you've learned here as a stepping stone to learn new ones that allow you to choose important things to work on that will make the world a better place. Embrace the idea of measuring your success by the outcomes that you create. It's a world with many problems and needs. Use your training to address them. Thank you and congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite President Stanley and Provost DeSantis to confer the doctoral degree. Will the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Musical Arts please rise? <clears throat> President Stanley, it's an honor for me to present these candidates to you. A doctoral degree is the highest earned academic degree that the university can confer. Completion of the requirements for this degree prepares the candidate for a life and career as a scholar. These candidates have completed the doctoral degree requirements. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend that they be awarded degrees of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Musical Arts and be accepted into our community of scholars. In addition, I would like to ask the four candidates who have been selected to represent all candidates for the Doctor of Medicine Doctor of Dental Surgery, Doctor of Nursing Practice, and a Doctor of Physical Therapy degrees to rise. President Stanley, it's my privilege to present the class of 2014 candidates for doctoral degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon all of you who have completed the respective requirements the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Musical Arts, Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Dental Surgery, Doctor of Nursing Practice, and Doctor of Physical Therapy, with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations, and welcome to the community of scholars. Graduates, you may be seated. The hooding of doctoral graduates is a symbolic academic ritual in which graduates and their advisors celebrate the successful completion of years of research and scholarship. To begin the hooding ceremony, I'd like to invite the Dean of the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences, Dr. Yaakov Shamash, to present his candidates. The degree, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy was historically the first degree to be conferred by universities. It requires completion of a dissertation that demonstrates a significant original work in a specialized area of research. The dissertation must be presented with an excellence of exposition that makes it suitable for publication. In addition, graduates must display a breadth and depth of knowledge beyond the confines of their own research. I'm pleased to invite to the stage the candidates who have been conferred with a degree of philosophy and their advisors from the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Yu Chuan Chen from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Han Shik An. Go ahead. Jae Han Lim, Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Stephen Finch. A 
Advisors, please hold your candidates. Riqui Zhang, Graduate Program of Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Stephen Finch. And Yi Ji Zhu, Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by James Glim and hooded by Brent Lindquist. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, Ju Wan Kim, advised by Brent Lindquist, and Tenji Jia, from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Andrew Mulhaupt. Advisors, please hold your candidates. Yi Kong Chai, Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Svetlozar Rachev and hooded by Andrew Mulhaupt. And Angela Sao, from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, also advised by Svetlozar Rachev and also hooded by Andrew Mulhaupt. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Thank you. Tong Fei Guo from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Roman Samuyak, and Hyun Kun Kim from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, also advised by Roman Samuyak. Advisor, please hold your candidates. Lena Zhang from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Roman Samulak, and Ying Kai from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, advised by Hai Peng Xing. Advisors, please hold your candidates. Also from the Graduate Program in Applied Math and Statistics, Yu Zhu Song, advised by Hai Pen Xing, and Yang Yu, advised by Hai Peng Xing. Advisor, please hold your candidates. And now, from the Graduate Program in Biomedical Engineering, Gabriel Pagnotti, advised by Clinton Rubin, and Yo Hung Hu, advised by Wei Zhao. Advisors, please hold your candidates.
And now from the Graduate Program in Computer Sciences, Jayla Mijedovic, advised by Michael Bender, and Kota Yamaguchi, co-advised by Tamara Berg and Luis Ortiz. Advisors, please hold your candidates. Also from the graduate program in computer sciences, Akshay Patil, advised by Ji Gao, and Min Zhang, advised by Shan Feng Gu. Advisors, please hold your candidates. Also from the graduate program in computer sciences, Navid Hamed Asimi, advised by Himanshu Gupta and Kaloyan Petkov, advised by Ari Kaufman. Advisors, please hold your candidates. Also from the graduate program in computer sciences, Ji Wan John, advised by Klaus Müller and hooded by I. V. Ramakrishnan, and Dilip Simha, advised by Donald Porter. Advisors, please hold your candidates. From the graduate program in computer sciences, Spiros Hadzi Christodoulou, advised by David Warren, and Ji Chao Li, advised by Erez Zadok. Advisors, please hold your candidates. And from the graduate program in computer sciences, Cheng Chun Tu, advised by Zikar Chu and hooded by Erez Zadok. And from the graduate program in electrical and computer engineering, Ji Young Guo, advised by Yuan Yuan Yang and hooded by Dmitry Donetsky. Advisors, please hold your candidates. Also from the graduate program in electrical and computer engineering, Chu Chao Chen, advised by Serge Lurie, and Ying Khan Lin, advised by Milutin Stanachevich. Advisors, please hold your candidates. From the graduate program in materials sciences, Komal Magzi, advised by Charles Fortman, and Hung Chen, advised by John Miller. Advisors, please hold your candidates.
Also from the Graduate Program in Materials Sciences, Jack Lombardi, advised by Miriam Rafelovich, and Mengjia Gao Wei, advised by John Smedley. Advisors, please hold your candidates. From the Graduate Program in Mathematics, Anand Atiyam, advised by Samuel Gushevsky, and Patricio Gallardo, advised by Radu Laza and hooded by Samuel Gushevsky. Advisor, please hold your candidates. From the Graduate Program in Mathematics, Stephen Gindi, advised by Blaine Lawson, and Shin Zhang, advised by Alex Kontoravich and hooded by Blaine Lawson. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Congratulations. I invite Dean Minghua Zhang to come forward and introduce the graduates from the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences. We are the following individuals who have been confirmed the degree of Doctor of Philosophy together with their advisor from the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences. Please come forward. So from the graduate program in Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Keith Dunton, advised by Michael Frisk, and Christopher Martinez, also advised by Michael Frisk. Advisor, please hold your candidates. Also from the Graduate Program in Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Teresa Hattenrath, advised by Christopher Gobler, and Peter Alpert, co-advised by Daniel Knopf and Josephine Aller, and hooded by Sultan Hamid. Advisors, please hold your candidates. And lastly, from the Graduate Program in Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Konstantin Runtos, advised by Ellen Pickich. Advisor, please hold your candidate. Congratulations. Will Dean Nancy Squires please come forward and introduce graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences.
will the following individuals who have been conferred with the degree Doctor of Philosophy and their advisors from the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward. From the graduate program in anthropology, Ian Wallace, advised by Brigitte Deems. Ian is a recipient of the President's Award for Distinguished Doctoral Student. Also from the graduate program in anthropology, Jessica Lodvik, advised by Diana Doran Sheehy. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in anthropology, Emranul Huck, advised by John Flegel, and Ashley Goslin Ildari, advised by Eric Seifert. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in biochemistry and cell biology, James Burns, advised by Miguel Garcia Diaz. And from the graduate program in chemistry, Yanji Chu, advised by Isaac Carrico. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in chemistry, Xie Wang, advised by Benjamin Chu, and Rui Yang, also advised by Benjamin Chu. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in chemistry, Ying Su, co-advised by Benjamin Chu and Benjamin Shao, and hooded by Benjamin Chu, and He Jung Chang, advised by Claire Gray and hooded by Nicole Sampson. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in chemistry, Hui Wang, advised by Daniel Raleigh and hooded by Nicole Sampson, and Li Tan, advised by and hooded by Nicole Sampson. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in chemistry, Carla Nichols, advised by Peter Tong and hooded by Nicole Sampson, and Yang Lu, advised by Peter Tong and also hooded by Nicole Sampson. Advisors, please hood your candidates.
Also from the graduate program in chemistry, Bingfei Chao, advised by Peter Khalifa, and Suad Zaman, advised by Stephen Koch. And from the graduate program in chemistry, Alex Mawai, advised by Roy Lacey, and Divya Ashwati, advised by Iwao Ojima. Thank you. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in chemistry, Jacob Weinberg, advised by Iwao Ojima, and Shivam Mukherjee, advised by Orlando Scherer. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in chemistry, Matthew Sitch, advised by Trevor Sears, and Zaiji Lai, advised by Jin Wong and hooded by Trevor Sears. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in chemistry, Hao Chen Li, advised by Carlos Simmerling, and Carmenza Martinez, advised by Carlos Simmerling. Advisor, please include your candidates. And now from the graduate program in cultural analysis and theory, Maria Cipriani, advised by Ruth Bottingheimer and hooded by Frank Cipriani, and Maria Elena D'Amelio, advised by Jacqueline Reich, hooded by Kryn Gabbard, and Maria is the recipient of the President's Award for Distinguished Doctoral Student. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in Ecology and Evolution, Matthew Aiello Lamens, advised by Haluk Achakaya and Abigail Cahill, advised by Jeffrey Leventon. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in ecology and evolution, Rocio Eng, advised by John True. And from the graduate program in economics, Jin Young Um, advised by Hugo Benitez Silva. Advisors, please hood your candidates.
also from the graduate program in economics, Yubin Kim, advised by Hugo Benitez Silva, and Jiro Liu, advised by Hugo Benitez Silva. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in economics, E. Zong, advised by Hugo Benitez Silva and Jack Lartique Mendoza, advised by Silvio Rendon. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in economics, Lunan Chang, co-advised by Eva Carceles Poveda and Alexis Anagnostopoulos, hooded by Eva Carceles Poveda, and Chan Li, advised by Eva Carceles Poveda. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in economics, Yan Lu, advised by Eva Carceles Poveda and Lin Zhang, advised by Eva Carceles Poveda. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in English, Naomi Edwards, advised by Jeffrey Santa Anna, and Kristen Bolluck, advised by Susan Sheckel. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in English, Derek McGrath, advised by Susan Sheckel. And from the graduate program in Geosciences, Jessica Arnold, advised by Timothy Glotch. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in Geosciences, Sarah Zhao, advised by Scott McLennan and hooded by Timothy Glotch, and Caitlin Young, advised by Gilbert Hansen. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in Geosciences, Millicent Schmidt, advised by Richard Reeder, and Josephine Durand, advised by Tang Fong Wong. Advisors, please hood your candidates.
from the graduate program in Hispanic Language and Literature, Maria Nieves Alonso Almagro, advised by Lou Charnin Deutsch, and Ana Belen Fernandez Gonzalez, also advised by Lou Charnin Deutsch. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in Hispanic Language and Literature, Rafael Dueñas, advised by Victor Roncero Lopez. And from the graduate program in History, He Jong Song, advised by Michael Barnard. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in history, Cristobal Espinoza, advised by Michael Barnhart, and Mark Rice, advised by Paul Gutenberg, hooded by Lawrence Froman, and Mark is a recipient of the President's Award for Distinguished Doctoral Student. Advisors, please hood your candidates. <laughs> also from the graduate program in history, Clarence Hall advised by Christopher Sellers and hooded by Donna Rilling, and Tristan Tomlinson, advised by Kathleen Wilson. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in molecular and cellular biology, Nihan Kara, advised by Bruce Stillman and hooded by Janet Letterwood. And from the graduate program in molecular and cellular biology, Dong Hyuk Ki, advised by Gerald Thompson. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in music, David Blake, advised by Peter Winkler. And from the graduate program in neurobiology and behavior, Mallory Locklear, advised by Mary Kreitzer. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in neurobiology and behavior, Chun Su Shu, advised by Yi Zhang and hooded by Mary Kreitzer, and Trevor Griffin, advised by Ariana Mafai. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in philosophy, Amir Jama, advised by Mary Rawlinson and hooded by Timothy Hyde. And from the graduate program in physics and astronomy, Ciprian Gall, advised by Abe Deshpande.
Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the Graduate Program in Physics and Astronomy, Andrew Mannion, advised by Abe Deshpande, and Matthew Von Hippel, from the Graduate Program in Physics and Astronomy, advised by Michael Douglas. Matthew is a recipient of the President's Award for Distinguished Doctoral Student. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the Graduate Program in Physics and Astronomy, Karin Gilia, advised by Chang Young, and Joshua Hignight, advised by Chang Young. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the Graduate Program in Physics and Astronomy, He Jin Liu, advised by Chedomir Petrovich and hooded by Chang Yong, and Yi Gu, advised by Roy Lacey. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the Graduate Program in Physics and Astronomy, Hong Zhang, advised by John Wei Chu, and Betul Pamuk, advised by Maria Victoria Fernandez Serra and hooded by Peter Stevens. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And lastly, from the Graduate Program in Physics and Astronomy, David Puldon, advised by Dmitry Sibyshev. And from the Graduate Program in Genetics, Li Feng Li, advised by James Kanapka. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And from the Graduate Program in Genetics, Matthew Beamer, advised by Maricedes Acosta Martinez, and Malka Arabov, advised by Eckhard Vima. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the Graduate Program in Physics and Astronomy, Ozan Erdogan, advised by George Sturman, and Darmesh Jain, advised by Warren Siegel and hooded by George Sturman. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the Graduate Program in Physiology, Victoria Boughton Nelson, advised by Richard Lynn, and from the Graduate Program in Political Science, 
April Johnson, advised by Charles Tabor. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in psychology, Diane Kim, advised by Brenda Anderson, and Robert Alexander, advised by Gregory Zielinski and hooded by Susan Brennan. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in psychology, William Wenzel and Elliot, advised by Richard Garrick and Emil Mulder, co-advised by Richard Heyman and Amy smith Slep. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in psychology, Nadia Samad, advised by Richard Heyman and Amy Slepp, and Caitlin Walsh, advised by Daniel O'Leary. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in psychology, Al Herrera Alcazar, advised by Everett Waters, Jr., and Sandra Skinner, advised by Harriet Waters. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And now from the graduate program in sociology, Paul Bougie, advised by Kenneth Feldman, and Rachel Kalish, advised by Catherine Marone. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in sociology, Michael Restivo, advised by Arnut van der Rich and Stephen Gamboa Diaz, from the graduate program in music, advised by Arthur Haas. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in music, Krista Patton, advised by Arthur Haas, and Nana Shi, advised by Gilbert Kalish and hooded by Daniel Weymouth. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in music, Melinda Haslett, advised by David Lawton, and Dom Ha, co-advised by Nicholas Cords and David Lawton, and hooded by David Lawton. Advisors, please hood your candidates.
also from the graduate program in music. Jong Yung Lee, advised by Judith Lockhead, and Sun Young Lim, also advised by Judith Lockhead. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And also from the graduate program in music, Yun Hee Kim, advised by Judith Lockhead, and Susanna Menlo, also advised by Judith Lockhead. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in music, Nathan Warner, advised by Judith Lockhead, and Elena Mindlina, advised by Ryan Miner. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in music, Richard Vaudry, advised by Margaret Shadell, and Peter Coco, advised by Perry Goldstein. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And from the graduate program in music, Thomas Marceau, advised by Daria Semigen and hooded by Perry Goldstein, and Sally Koo, advised by Philip Setzer and hooded by Perry Goldstein. Advisors, please hood your candidates. And lastly, from the graduate program in music, Dennis Sullivan, advised by Peter Winkler and hooded by Perry Goldstein. Oh, advisors, please hood your candidate. The degree of Doctor of Musical Arts, like the PhD, requires students to demonstrate original work in specialized areas of knowledge. In the case of Doctor of Musical Arts, clarity of exposition is demonstrated through the medium of a recital. Will the following individuals who have been conferred with the degree Doctor of Musical Arts, together with their advisors, please come forward. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody needs to rewrite the script. Congratulations. I invite the director of the doctoral program in the School of Social Welfare, Joel Blau, to please come forward and introduce his graduates. Will the following indi individuals who have been conferred with a degree of the Doctor of Philosophy together with their advisors from the School of Social Welfare please come forward. Okay, from the graduate program in Social Welfare, Ilana Needle, advised by Joel Blau, and Jennifer Wood, advised by Pamela Linden.
advisors, please hold your candidate. And from the graduate program in social welfare, Jerome Madumelu, advised by Carolyn Peabody. Advisor, please hood your candidate. Congratulations, with the Dean of the School of Medicine, Kenneth Kashansky, please come forward to introduce the graduates from the Basic Health Sciences. Thank you, Joel. Will the following individuals who have just been conferred the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, together with their advisors from the Basic Health Sciences, please come forward. From the Graduate Program in Molecular Genetics and Microbiology, Esma Yusisik Akaya, advised by Aaron Neiman. And from the Graduate Program in Pharmacology, Jason Hall, advised by Howard Crawford and hooded by Stella Tsirka. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in pharmacology, Jillian Nissen, advised by Stella Tsirka, and Vinal Patel, advised by Basil Rigas. Advisors, please hood your candidates. Also from the graduate program in pharmacology, Yorgos Yoryu, advised by Marcus Seliger, and Benjamin Siggy, advised by Ken Ichi Takemaru. Advisors, please hood your candidates. From the graduate program in medicine, Danielle Skanga, advised by Kenneth Koshansky. I'm actually going to pass on this one and ask advisor and father, Fred Skanga, to please hood your candidate. Congratulations. I would like to introduce, oh, I already did. So please, uh, I'd now like to introduce and turn over the program to the Dean of the School of Dental Medicine, Dr. Mary Trular. Dimitro Zurakovsky has been selected to represent all the graduates in the School of Dental Medicine. Will Dimitro please come forward? Right. <laughs> Congratulations. And now I'd like to turn the program over to the Dean of the School of uh, Nursing, Lee Zipolitos.
Justin Warhol has been selected to represent the graduates of the School of Nursing. Will Justin please come forward? Congratulations. And now I turn the program over to the Dean of School of Health Technology and Management, Dr. Craig Lehman. Pasquale Edward Orr. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't see. Okay. Pasquale Edward Orr. Jer Orr. I'm sorry. Gerero uh, has been selected to represent the graduates of the School of Health Technology and Management. Will Poswell please come up? Congratulations. This completes the present presentation and hooding of this year's class of doctoral graduates. At this time, I invite Dean Charles Tabor to the podium. I would now like to introduce Dr. Mark Rice of the History Department as this year's student speaker. Thank you to the university, the graduate school, and most importantly, thank you to the many guests, and a special thanks to the organizers of this ceremony. In many ways, this ceremony honors the highest individual achievement one can accomplish in education, a doctoral degree. And in fact, there is much truth to that sentiment. This ceremony honors what is often the first major independent research, composition, or project of a professional scholarly career. To earn this degree, we have to identify a problem, question, or gap in scholarly and cultural work. Then we undertake, and in this case undertook, months, often years of research, field work, experiments, and practice to craft our projects. And finally, we composed and communicated our findings as individual, independent scholars. All of this required steady, often solitary work in labs, in the field, in libraries, archives, stages, and studios. Of course, today we celebrate the happy conclusion of these unique individual projects that represent a diverse graduate population and scholarly community that we see here today. However, if this hooding ceremony is a celebration of individual academic achievement, it is also a powerful reminder of the collaborative community effort that aided our scholarly careers at Stony Brook. Unfortunately, collaboration is a term that is often downplayed or undervalued in academia. Often, at best, it is a pithy term that we put on our cover letters or grant applications, declaring, sometimes half-heartedly, how much we love it. At worst, collaboration is used as a euphemistic term for the consolidation or termination of departments, labs, or programs. However, this ceremony reminds us of the positive, rewarding nature of academic collaboration. We have relied on the collaboration, or even better said, dedication, of family, loved ones, and friends. We have benefited tremendously from the often unending and dedicated collaboration of our advisors, who have guided our scholarly careers collaboration within and across programs and departments, with the faculty community, all has certainly made us better scholars. And it's important to also recognize the invaluable, constant collaboration with the university staff, administration, program coordinators, technicians, librarians, the list goes on and on, the people who make this university run. However, if this ceremony gives us an opportunity to recognize the collaborations that aided our graduate school careers, it also presents us with a mandate to use our experience to collaborate with others. 
We receive our degrees and enter a world where the values of earning a doctoral degree, truth, meritocracy, objectivity, are terribly undervalued. We can only start to address great problems like inequality, discrimination, and ecological crisis by collaborating with the global community through our teaching, our research, our scholarly work. But I am confident in our ability to tackle this challenge based on the final collaboration I want to acknowledge today, the collaboration within our graduate community here at Stony Brook. Much of our individual successes honored here today comes from the cooperation within our community. We have shared our ideas in class, labs, writing groups, coffee houses, and the occasional visit to a pub, sometimes more than occasional visit to a pub. Uh, we have celebrated achievements together, comforted, comforted each other during times of stress, loss, and disappointment. We have given back to our community through hours of volunteerism in our clubs, our graduate student organization, and many, many, many other efforts. I challenge us to keep the spirit of this wonderful collaborative achievement that we honor today and to use it in our future endeavors. Thank you very much. Will President Stanley please come forward for our closing remarks? Congratulations. You have completed all the requirements for your doctoral degree, and you have done it at one of the best universities in the world. We know graduate school is not a sprint. It's a marathon, one measured not in hours, but in years. But unlike a marathon, you do not do it alone, for it is far from an individual event. So today we also celebrate your family and your friends who supported you on this remarkable journey. And please join me in thanking them. And we should also thank the faculty and staff who invested their time and effort in helping you to succeed and your colleagues who helped you cross the finish line. Again, to the faculty and staff, thank you. <laughs> Stony Brook is a special place for graduate school, for we are really a unique community of scholars, a diverse community where freedom of inquiry, collegiality, fairness, openness to the talents of both genders and all races, and mutual respect are the norm. This is how it should be, and we must all be committed to, to maintaining this remarkable environment. Graduate education remains really difficult to explain to most of the world. As I alluded to before, it is long, it is expensive, and it can be highly specialized. Yet graduate studies are at the heart of a research university. As Katherine Stimson of NYU has said so well, Graduate school is where scholars of different generations come together to work on the central problems of our time. It is a safe haven to question conventional wisdom and to venture into new intellectual territory. At the core, whether they were extraordinarily specialized or multidisciplinary, your studies were about bringing your creativity and knowledge, as well as that of your advisor, committee, collaborator, and colleagues to bear on something interesting, something worth knowing, and therefore, something valuable. If you have added to the body of knowledge, you have left your mark on a field. Now on this special day, I want to tell you that wherever you choose to do, wherever your career takes you, I hope you will always consider Stony Brook an intellectual home. The relationship you have forged with your thesis advisor is a special one and I encourage you to cultivate it. Mentors matter, and you should not squander or take for granted a critical relationship. So we have given you our best efforts, our respect, and our deep affection. Now it's all up to you. You will pay back your mentors in this university by continuing the legacy of teaching and research that we shared with you. Make us proud. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our doctoral graduation and hooding ceremony. We invite each of you to join our graduates for a celebratory reception in the lobby of the Wang Center. Please join me in congratulating our graduates. Street, yeah, mop. <laughs> 